Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a Mauser extremely late production 1930 commercial. And when I say extremely late production, I mean in the last couple thousand guns made. Uh, Mauser stopped producing these in the year 1937, which is generally uh, agreed upon by most authorities. Um, you know, Mauser didn't really keep the best records that survived the war anyway, so a lot of it is guesswork. Uh, this one, I believe, is in the 917,000 serial number range, and I think pretty much the highest observed broom handle number is like 921, 920, 921. So this is pretty darn late. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it is essentially factory new. Uh, really, there's nothing on it that uh, indicates it's ever seen any use. I really don't think it's ever been shot. First thing you're going to notice is the dark black finish with a black shiny finish. And that is the salt blue that Mauser started using right at about uh, 700,000 and used through the end of production. Uh, this is also one of the later guns where all the small parts are also salt blue. So you've got your trigger is black as well, your uh, bolt stop, your uh, rear sight cursor, and your extractor. Everything is going to be salt blued on this one. No more rust blue, no more fire blue on small parts. Um, you've got your typical wide serrated Mauser 1930 commercial grips which in this case are really a nice looking set that are, have a nice original factory lacquer on them. And uh, obviously Mauser had really gotten things down by the 1930s. They were producing a quality product. You can see the fit and finish of everything. Your magazine floor plate is completely seamless on this one. Um, just a really, really nice gun. Uh, you've got your standard Mauser markings on the side, which are uh, DRP UAP, which stands for Deutsche Reich Patents and Other Patents. And that indicates it was made after 1933, after the Nazis had taken power. Uh, you've got pretty standard markings on these. You're always going to have your Mauser banner as well. And uh, the, of course, the one thing that always makes it typical of a 1930 commercial is your safety which can be applied one-handed, down obviously for fire, up for safe, and as you can see, that hammer moves into the position where it can touch the firing pin on fire, and on safe, it pulls it back. You can also cock the hammer on safe and actually pull the trigger and drop the hammer, um, and it's, it does not make contact with the firing pin. If you feel okay doing that, more power to you. I certainly do not. Um, You've got your standard 1,000 meter rear sight, which is Mauser has pretty much always used since 1896. Uh, they just really thought you could reach out and touch someone with, with that round. Your standard uh, Mauser chamber marking and your Crown U uh, commercial proof right there. Uh, all in all, just a really nice example of a 1930 commercial. Um, obviously, there's milling on the panels, but it is very uh, almost decorative on this one. And Mauser sort of all, almost made it a decorative look on a lot of their guns. Uh, this is really sort of the culmination of where Mauser ended production. And these guns, uh, the 1930 commercials, the late ones at least, do show up in pretty nice condition. and. Why that is, I'm not really sure. I know a lot of them were actually used during World War II, but uh, they do show up. And it seems that maybe Mauser had some production left over after the war that was sold off or somehow appropriated by people who took really, really good care of their guns. I mean, this one just looks like it got put in a drawer and forgotten about. So. I uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at a really nice 1930 commercial, and uh, we'll be doing more videos on broom handles, helmets, grenades, pretty much everything in between. Um, obviously, like and subscribe so you know when new content comes up. Uh, if you've got a 1930 commercial, I'd love to hear about it, and uh, put a comment in, share the knowledge. Thanks for watching.